I'm here at Pie Labor Singapore Post shopping mall. It's been a long time since I have had soup. You know, soup is the one thing that's really difficult to transport back, especially if you're taking it away or to go. So uh, I'm going to treat myself to some really yummy soup. So let's come on in and watch me sketch. Nothing like a hot bowl of soup on a nice cool rainy day. Once again, very few people here uh, in this food court, so I've decided to park myself here for the sketch. Here we go guys. So I'll be making this watercolour sketch with a mechanical pencil, a watercolour brush and my White Knight watercolours from Neskaya Bali Chart. Just a quick note guys, they ran out of goji berries, they actually even ran out of spring onion. So the guy was kind enough to head on over to another vendor to get some spring onion for me to sprinkle so that there's more colour in my piece, my watercolour piece that I'm uh, about to attempt to do. I think some of you are wondering why are there goji berries in my soup. So traditionally, goji berries are found in these types of uh, tonic or herbal soup. Um, and uh, the guy ran out so I decided to throw some in for colour and sparkle. So guys, you've seen the food and beverage industry in Singapore opening up in phase 2. Another one big industry that opened up is the retail industry and I'm gonna head down to my favorite retail outlet <laughs> it's called Taizo I'm gonna toggle between the two both the one here and the one at Parkway Parade uh, so we can squeeze in some sketching yeah Alright, finally it's time to go in. Here's a little background on the company. Daiso Industries Company Limited is a franchise of 100 yen shops founded in Japan. Its headquarters is in Hiroshima. Daiso has a range of over 100,000 products. 40% are imported goods from China. Many of their products are household items such as kitchenware and cleaning products. They also sell food, DIY accessories, clothingware, toys and stationery. Daiso has locations in 25 countries and regions worldwide, some of which includes the United States, Canada, Australia, Mexico, New Zealand, Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, just to name a few. Here in Singapore, all the items are priced at 2 Singapore dollars or 1.45 USD. And sometimes it amazes me how some of these products are priced like that. Okay, so you get the point. They sell a lot of things. 
and the Daiso here at Singapore Post is considered small compared to some others. Yep, in sunny, humid Singapore. So besides household stuff, they actually sell a whole range of arts and crafts items. Check it out. If you are beginning in art and especially if you're not sure about getting into art, this is a great place to buy and try art materials. You'll be able to experiment and not worry about the cost. Even if you are a more experienced artist, you might want to consider buying some of your art materials from here. Things like water containers, calligraphy inks, felt tip markers, washi tapes, etc. No frills, no fuss. How about that guys? That was quite interesting, especially the art department. You know, being in there makes me really want to visit Japan. Japan is Singapore's number one most popular destination. So what I feel like doing is I'm going to revisit my Tokyo 2017 videos and bump it up from 480p, very low res, to HD, 1080p. Okay, so guys, watch out for that. This is Elvin Mark. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe if you like the content. Until the next art episode, ciao ciao.